um, I didn't choose, I don't think. I just went to college and took creative writing class. And the teacher was encouraging. And I just felt encouraged, so I took more writing classes. But there was never a moment where I decided, I don't think. It started with poems. Because in the creative writing classes, you mostly turn in a poem and then around 15 people in the class mm -hmm. read it and write notes about it and you talk, everyone talks about it. And then after poetry I wrote, in other creative writing classes I wrote short, very short stories. And then after that I wrote longer stories, like 20 page stories and I submitted them to magazines. And then after that I um, wrote my first novel that was published, but before that I had written another novel that that isn't published. He said, with Taipei, Talon becomes the most interesting prose stylist of his generation, but that doesn't mean Taipei isn't a boring book. Um, to me, it's not boring. I can see how many people would think it's boring. I wonder um, how he's going to feel, because in every interview he's talked about, I think, if he, um, <laughs> maybe he'll like the extra promotion. No. <clears throat> the age is going to change the nouns, and yeah, it'll change mostly the nouns in the book. Like, instead of Paul looked at his computer screen, in the past it would be Paul looked at. I try not to make the writing specific to an age, but the way I write, I include the brand names and the dates. So it can seem like I'm trying to write about an age or a specific time. But what I'm really doing is just indicating that the concept of there being specific things and brand names and dates, that concept is constant throughout time. If I was writing about 1000 AD, I could say that the people were using swords to um, fight each other. And if I just say sword, it can seem like that's timeless. But that's actually just an, that's actually just like an alternate reality. It's not timeless. Because being specific is what is timeless to me. Because then the reader can substitute broadsword with whatever they currently have in their age. Mm -hmm. Whereas if it's just sword, they can also do that, but they don't get the information that's present in every age of specificity. In America, if you include brand names and dates, you'll automatically get criticized by a, by a certain number of people, I think. There's major confusion in America about like what it means if there's a brand name in a book. Many people just see the brand name and I think think you're somehow promoting the brand name or aligning yourself with the brand name. To me, they're, they're separate from each other. Yeah, because there's many people who aren't bored and who don't use drugs in this age, I think. It's hard to say if they're bored or not because, because if, I'm, if I'm writing something about them, they're, they're always doing something or thinking something. And if they're doing or thinking something, I don't think they, they feel bored. They maybe feel bored like for the few seconds before they do something. Then the boredom changes into um, 
usually anxiety. Mm -hmm. So there's probably more anxiety than boredom. Yeah, because probably they think and question themselves so much that they feel so much anxiety. Everyone, I think, is probably like that to mm -hmm. some degree. I think it's, in this book, it's always still framed in a um, situation. In the situation, in the story, it came first as a frame. And then I worked the most probably on the, what did you just say, the introspection. Yeah, those parts I worked on later and required the most work because I would often use images and like lyrical language. Whereas with the story, it was just pretty concrete descriptions of action, mm -hmm. which is easier, I think, to write. I don't have to think that much to describe action, but for the thoughts and the feelings, I have to think really hard. I try to be detailed so I don't have to um, write about the same things again. Well, I haven't started anything yet. The last thing I finished was an essay for Granta. I finished it about a month ago. And I have a lot of notes on a lot of different things, but I haven't started a new book yet. Very gradually, and it keeps changing throughout the entire time of writing a book till the very end. So just, yeah, very gradually. So I never notice I'm constructing this. It's just always construction and editing till the very end. I have um, the fir a first draft that is similar to this in structure and length, probably like 5% of the time that I spent working on it. And then the rest is editing mostly and moving things around. But the first draft is usually as long as the final book. Wake up, smoke marijuana, eat some fruit, go to the library, try to do something on the computer, go outside, to a grocery store, go home, smoke marijuana, um, try to eat something, and to do, do stuff on a computer, go to sleep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.